Hello, hello guys, and welcome to Retro Dude's cool gameplay video of Bubble Bubble by Taito. This is an awesome game. I I'm really serious, look at the guys. <laughs> if you got an NES, classic NES, pop this great cartridge into your system. Yes. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Are you having a good time on New Year's Eve? Are you drinking lots of drinks and stuff like that? Before I go into playing this game, I'd like to tell you a really cool history about this game. Before Bubble Bubble, there was a crack and pop, far more obscure platform game released by Taito in 1983. Some of the Bubble Bubble's ideas appear here in an, ass an ascent from a single player platform game where the player controls the Weird chicken like creature, crack on the, t crack on the tile. The aim is to reserve the heart of one corner of the maze like before the rushing back to the top. And here we go. Let us play. You are playing the character Bill and Burb. And their mission is to rescue these girlfriends from Baron von Bubbler. I know he sounds like he sounds like Dracula, but with bubbles. Or is it just me? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's quite funny. <laughs> you never know with these things, right? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Yes. So the uh, the object of this game is very simple. All you have to do. Is your character shoots out these infinite bubbles and he has to collect and burst their bubbles so it's like I gotta burst your bubble mate I know very I had to use puns to start this off but don't worry I won't use a lot of it because I know a lot of people go off stream and go no I don't like to hear some puns but it's it's good to inject a little bit of humor now and then why not right <laughs> So, shout out in the comments. Are you, are you seeing this gameplay footage? Can you hear the audio correctly and stuff? I did have a bit of an issue today with the uh, Retron 5. It's something about that system. I don't know what it is, right? And my Elgato capture card just didn't like the uh, laptop as well that I had. It was, very, it was a very weak laptop. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> it didn't. The graphics card is not as very good on it than it is with my PC just now, because it's got two gigs of video RAM. So that's that will definitely sort out this issue now. <laughs> this game has a lot of good power-ups. I'll tell you what they are. The power-ups are they are lightning, which is good for taking out one-hit kill enemies. Speed boots that make you run faster. What else is there? Fire. Oh, that's good. Yeah, fire one is probably the best weapon, probably the best power in the whole game. You basically launch a, launch the fire on the ground, and you can get multiple enemies and get bonus points as such. Oops, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Never yeah, mind. Bubble Bowl was designed by Fuchi Mitsuyu, who joined Taito in the mid-twenties and eventually worked on such great games as Super Dead Heat and Land Sea Squad and a very good vertical shooter. Hanley's comment for the next game, however, Mitsuyu wanted to create something very different from his experience commonly found in the arcades at the time. Notice that the arcades in Japan were commonly frequently wanted men. He wanted to create a game that couples could enjoy together. So basically, it's kid orientated with boys and girls as such. Yes. Back then, women were rarely seen in Japanese arcades. Miss Miss Misuji later said in a video interview for the video game compilation Taito Legends. So I thought bringing more couples would help solve the issue. That's why I designed the cute characters and included cooperative play in Bubble Bubble. 
So that's that's a really awesome fag. I think that's awesome. <laughs> He's a true legend. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the more levels you get. Oh yes, the levels. They are there's hundred levels, and it has multiple endings. So when I played this the first time, I said to myself, I thought I'd be in the game, but no, he actually says you have to find the secret door in, I think is it 99 or 100 level? I don't know why that happens, but <laughs> it's like ghouls and ghosts, you know, if you, you have to beat the game once and then you got to play the game again, and then it's like... This is how developers want to make their games last longer during the NES period when the games were so ridiculously hard, especially Contra. So who here has played Contra? Anyone? No? Yes? Yes. Right. If or however you find a par you find an umbrella in one of these levels, it's uh, it takes you to four levels ahead. So look out for those ones because they can save you a lot of hard work, especially the later levels when they get really really ramped up in uh, in difficulty. <laughs> Mrs. Suchi's concept was uh, unusual for its first time. If a two-player game existed in all the 80s arcades, they were usually competitive and violent. The four-player gauntlet was released in 1985, warned that the uh, shots do not hurt other players yet. Well, 1987, some Limitor, a uh, two-player fighting game, Double Dragon, ended with one of its players fighting to the death over the woman they just rescued. Bubble Ball, on the other hand, had a far lighter uh, atmosphere, while players could compete over items that appeared on the screen. The game encourages cooperation rather than aggression. Indeed, the only way to get Bubble Bubble's true ending was if two players work together. So in other words, I know I'm playing alone, but it would be nice if I had another player, and then we can get a better ending. Ah oh well. <laughs> As they say, you live once. <laughs> Gonna press the right button. The cool, the cool fact about this game is you have, you know, resume points. So it's just kind of like save states, similar to the early save states, which is great handy. You know, you don't have to keep inputting the password, but the password is there for when you want to switch it off and then go out, have drinks, meet some people. So that's quite a useful feature, I suppose. Okay, okay, this is getting good now. This is getting good. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, oh, oh. That was a close call, wasn't it? <laughs> jumping, jumping. Chris Grossomania, jump, jump. Chris Grossomania, jump, jump. Or in this case, float, float, float down. <laughs> pow. Pow, 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 pow. Here we go. Get that bubble. Okay, right. Let's 
gonna quickly go dodge me, die. Okay. There we go. Easy fix. <laughs> You get a lot of variety of enemies in this game. You get flying helicopter sponges, you get wind-up clock metal people, you get ghoulie ghosts, purple and blue, you get... What else do you get? Oh yes, you get space phaser type enemies that shoot bullets. Oh, they are... they are extremely annoying, especially the later levels in... I think it's about 45, I don't know, 50, level. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, another cool thing. Oh, there it is. There's a the power salt. Get it. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. There it is. The level skip. A great blessing disguise. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yes, you'll get into a, a really use of strange levels designs. You'll get to me. Yeah, hopefully. If I play long enough, I might see well, you know, why not? Uh, there's actually a really cool level called popcorn, so if you get the flame power-ups you can make the popcorn. It goes pop 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 pop. I know, it's really pop-tastic. <laughs> uh, yes. Right, here is these cool lightning power-ups. Now, do you know what that what will happen if I see? See, shoots lightning. Uh, that's what you know, that's how it works. But you have to use these lightning powers effectively, you know. When you're not uh, being followed. And that's the problem. those enemies and get the last dude and look at all these dinos oh bonuses and keep on collecting more points so you get one ups as well that really sure helps as well yes Bobble quickly made one of the most widely ported games of its era. It appears such computers as ZX Spectrum, Amiga, Console Site, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and Sega Master System, while the Game Boy had its own microgram handheld version of the game. Bobble Bobble's success was also promptly titled to create a string of loose sequels and spin offs. Rainbow Islands, Parasol Stars, and Bobble Bobble's Symphony are just a few of the follow ups. The color match spin offs pro Puzzle. Puzzle Bobble 1994, also starring Bob Bobbly and Bobbly, is still going strong. And mobile game Bobbly March launched in Japan last year. Oh, I 
done again. Oops. Come and take me. created a thing called the bubble jump. This bubble jump is really useful for getting out of these tight little spots. So, make use of these uh, great skills. They come very handy for near the end of the game. Uh, I just gotta keep on jumping, jumping, jumping. Uh, jumping jumps! Uh, Tell me in the comment section what is your favourite arcade game that you, that you uh, remembered as a child or even when you were an adult. I remember playing a really cool arcade game back in back in the old year. Oh, when was it? Yeah, I played a game called Time Crisis, that original gun combat game from Namco. Oh, that was such a blast to play. I remember Wild Dog going. My man will take him down. And it's just uh, incredibly, incredibly cheesiest game I ever made. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> you, do, you do get fun, fun memories of playing video games in arcades, don't you? It's just a shame they're not around anymore. They're mostly shut down because obviously now console is doing arcade ports. Another thing you should look into uh, is Wild Guns Reloaded. That is quite a good remake, actually. Yeah, based on a SNES game of the same name. Uh, the only prob, the only rant I have to say is the price is quite expensive. It's twenty five pounds, and I went really for a small game twenty five pounds. Why would you pay that? But apparently it's got new weapons like the lasers and the, the fusion bombs and stuff like that. So I said, okay, that's not too bad. So I'll give it a go and I really enjoyed it. And you can still buy it on the PlayStation PlayStation Store now, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I missed jump. I've got to time these jumps correctly. So I can get some of these dudes. No, it didn't work. Alright, I need to jump up again. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up! Come on, you cute dino. Get up there. Jumping, jump, jumping jacks! Come on, no, 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 I tell you. Uh, I said Jumping, jumping, jumping uh, 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 uh. Okay, 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 okay Ooh. Oh no, that was death Yeah, you had to be really quickly in this game You can't catch me, copper Yeah! Oh. Oh, he got me. 
Damn, you got me! This cute little dino didn't deserve to die! Uh. Come on, come on! Yeah, there we go. So tricky and so annoying, but it does, it is quite rewarding in the end. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the bottle. Just gotta keep jumping out of jump, 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 jump. Fire, 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 fire. I got a fire, 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 fire. Fire those bubbles, kid. Yeah, I'm in the army now. You're in the army now. Da -da 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 -da. Jump it, jump it, jumps. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do 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 do. And last one down for the count. You might also want to check uh, another YouTube on this, on uh, my channel. His name is Player with Power. Uh, he's he's his content's really really fascinating. I, I really I really enjoy his content, especially the, uh, the creepy themes of his um, you know poetry and his game reviews. And he has Wilson as his lovely dog. <laughs> I do enjoy it. You know. Check it out. And he's also done uh, really awesome charity work as well, so you should praise this guy, he's fantastic. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he, he and another couple of YouTubers uh, made me want to start this channel, so if you would like to know something fascinating about this, um, actually is, when I watched the Angry Video Game Nerd, well, he's now ABGen, Angry Video Game Nerd, his videos were so, so funny, um, I, I remember watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I couldn't stop laughing when he kept, he kept crucifying, you know, that this, this game is not based on the cartoon series, where have I seen these guys from? <laughs> And it's and he says it's total shit as well. So yeah. Take me again. I think he's really gone personally is the Ninja Gaiden one. Yeah, I never seen the guy so solely destroyed by this trilogy of a game. You know, it's so difficult and literally hard. I've heard a lot of people have beaten this game. I mean, I've got to give you a medal if you've beaten Ninja Gaiden. It's just one of those. It's mercifully hard. I mean, they keep respawning every level. I mean,. I remember playing Ninja Game 3, I just threw out the controller like so many times, I just went, I can't play this game, it's so hard, you have to cheat in the game to make it worthwhile. <laughs> but then again, you're not really a video gamer, are you, um, if you do that. And now we come to the coolest part of my favourite debut.
Now the flame power of We're cooking up in a storm in here now. <laughs> Come here, you little, little ghosty. There we are. He's fried now. Okay. So. So, what's your guy's New Year's Eve revolution? revolutions? I personally don't believe in it because uh, I tend to break them. <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it just doesn't appeal to me, to be honest. You know? I mean, that's the problem. When people say they're going to lose weight, when they're really not going to lose weight, they go back and pile on more weight, and then they go, oh, I broke my New Year's resolution. I mean, it's not really worth it, is it? But it's good to have some dreams, isn't it, right? I think one of my dreams, if, if I can get into retro gaming industry, I would love to work in a shop, like, you know, just talk about video games to people, you know, I, I find it, uh, there's a lot of great passion out there that people play video games, and they remember, they have great, fond childhood memories, and they like to talk about stories. It's like reading them a story, you know, it's in, it's great nostalgia value, and timeless. I mean, I'll, I remember playing on the ZX Spectrum. Man, that was a great computer back in the day, and I used to play that game. Batman the Movie, yes. That game. <laughs> But they did have a Amiga port of that game, which was okay, but I think I liked the Spectrum, to be honest, because it, the graphics were very primitive and basic, and the gameplay mechanics were absolutely really good. I used to play Robocop on that as well, which reminds me, hopefully in the next stream, which is probably going to be guaranteed now, I will play a game called uh, Robocop on the Game Boy. That game has the greatest soundtrack, and the gameplay, I think, is the best. Because Game Boy has a lot of great gems that nobody know about. So, yeah. comment and subscribe and as they sing goes retro forever thank you very much